Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razor. Welcome back to Tales of Fantasia. In the last episode, we went to the valley area in the future, which is right over there on the top part of the screen. Um, there's really not much point to go there. Just basically fight the enemies that are there and then leave because there's no chest in that area. So, anyway, in this episode, we're going to enter the tournament. So, let's go enter the tournament. I was going to do this in the last episode, but I forgot. Oops, I didn't mean to go out here. Wanted to go inside the castle. Now, there's eight battles in this arena. I don't know if we'll be able to beat them all. But I'm assuming you get EXP and everything, right? And do you keep up... Do you keep your EXP? Yes. Yes. Of the playing field, you have prepared... We have prepared a set of items for you to use. Okay. Please don't get hurt. Test your limits. Challenger has come forth, that's right. He hails from a uh, Totus. And how you pronounce is it, it, it's Daos, not Deos. I was calling it him De Deos the whole time because obviously if you change the D with a C, it's Chaos. So I figured that's how you would say it, but it's actually Daos. Because that's how they were pronouncing it, you know, when I did that skit in the last episode. That's the first battle. Oh, I forgot about magic lenses. Shit. Oh, these are the skeletons anyway. We already fought these things. Yeah, I should have... Well, actually, it didn't matter, right? They... You have to use whatever they give you, so... It wouldn't have mattered. I wonder if I could win all the battles. I guess we'll try. Do you get a game over if you lose? I doubt it. Usually a lot of these, if you fail at the arena, usually a lot of times you just get taken out of the arena, you know? You don't actually get a game over for losing. I should have put it down to normal as well. It's on hard. Probably a bad idea to be playing this on hard. Anyway, I think this is a new enemy, Kraken. Whoa, and holy shit, it has a lot of HP. Senju Tendu Ta! Whatever the hell he's saying. <laughs> At least it's not a fiend kraken. That'd be copyright. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. This came out way before Yu Gi Oh did. If it was called Fiend Kraken, then that would mean that you that would mean that Konami copyrighted Tales of Fantasia, even though I don't think you can copyright a name any damn way, but you know. It kinda looked like a Fiend Kraken though, to be honest. Alright, we have an Another, I don't know if it's a new enemy, Mandrake? It's 
Sucks I didn't buy magic lenses, but it's okay. It, it, I don't. It's whatever. Wow. That's cheap, man. I gotta equip anti paralysis for this. Yeah, the arena's kind of. Because you only have one character. If you get paralyzed or petrified, you just automatically lose. I'm gonna put it down to normal anyway, and just so I can beat it, you know, so I don't waste time. And we're gonna equip a paralysis charm. I bet there's an enemy that petrifies you too, though. I can almost guarantee there's going to be an enemy that petrifies. Unfortunately. I know that was the right way. And I wanted to go to the left. Let me speed this up. Stop talking. Get through these first two battles quickly here. Now on to the next battle. Alright. I should have bought magic lenses, shit. Oh well. I always forget. I have a bad memory. Can't paralyze me this time, fool. Cheap way to win, by the way. Oh, I could just do the jump and slash and save my TP. They give you, by the way, they give you th three apple gels. They give you one melange gel. Yeah, so you gotta conserve your TP. So I'm gonna just do jump and slash. Okay, drop a ch stone charm. I imagine we're gonna need that. I bet there's gonna be enemy that can petrify me. We'll see though. It's halftime, number four, you're up next. It's a stone tusk boar. <laughs> nah. Boar boar. What the hell, he totally whiffed. And so did I. And I whiffed again. What the hell? Freaking coward. And I'll jump and slash and kill you then. Yeah, I like stuns lo stun blocks them. They, they can't even do anything when you jump and slash in this. Sometimes they can. Got some pork. Battle number five. Alright, I can't analyze this enemy, but whatever. Chevalier. I only do 35 damage. That was easy. That was easier than the damn boar. 
Got two more battles left. He is without beer. <laughs> what? <laughs> I would hope he's without beer. Because I'm pretty sure he's underage. <laughs> oh, we got an oak enemy. Yep, mighty oak. This ought to be easy. We fall one of the, plenty of these. This is not even a new enemy. Maybe it's higher level though. No, it's not higher level. Alright, we got one more battle, I guess. That wasn't tough at all. That was super easy. He didn't even get a single hit on me. And this far at last. The seventh. Oh no, there's two more. There's one more after this. Clay Golem. New enemy, by the way. So I can block physical attacks sometimes. And it has fisticuffs. Like it's a damn martial artist or something. Mike Tyson's punch, punch out over here. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to heal here. Oh, come on, man. Shit. I got stunned. That's a kind of an annoying combo. I need like a ranged attack. Let me do Demon Spear. I think Demon Spear will be more safe against this thing. Oh, maybe not actually because I get too close to him. 5,000 gold for that, 1,800 EXP. It's not too bad. Okay, the final battle. I don't even know if you could beat this at this point in the game. I'm just counting on you go. What the hell is that? Oh my god, it's a Basilisk King. Oh my god, this is going to be a freaking nightmare. It's got like a ton of defense. Okay, that does a lot of damage to it, though. I'm not really worried about that, though. I'm not worried about the damage that it does. I'm worried about the damn... Petrify ability. I'm gonna do this. Make myself immune to status ailments. Also gotta be a little bit careful too, cause if it does like a combo on me. That'd be bad. Whoo! I saw it coming.
Oh, it about, it about did it there. Holy shit, that was close. If you turn your back to it, it won't work. Problem now is I'm out of... I'm out of TP. And I have no way to restore TP either. What's HP this damn thing have? There we go, we got it. Nice. Whoa, look at that. EXP and gold. Holy shit. Very nice. 5,000 EXP, 6,000 gold. I wouldn't say perfect. The damn sure wasn't perfect. But it's not over yet. What? Oh, that's right. It did say there was one more opponent. That's right. And I'm about to applaud the Valor and allow him to recover his strength. Fully recovered. Now then. Oh my god. What is this thing? Oh, I got a music. I can't show, listen. I can't have this theme on my video. Can't beat that yet. We'll have to come back later for that one. When I'm higher level and everything. I could probably beat it. If I knew how much HP it had. And everything. But we're good. So. Did I get my recovery items back? Yeah I did. Okay good. Let me go buy some magic lenses. And... We'll head to the next area. I'm going to buy some food as well. Cap out on our ingredients, not food. I mean, it is food, obviously, but you know what I mean. Alright. Let's head on out. We'll go past the valley to the next area. And look over there. There's no Harmel. It's clearly gone. Remember, it was destroyed in the other timeline. Now it's just not there anymore. But we're on our way to Venezia.
Um, but yeah, that theme against that boss, uh, I couldn't have. I can't have that theme in because it's hammer th that theme in the video because it's copyrighted. Venezia City. What a huge port city. I mean, things to see, yeah. Pretty annoying exploring this area, too, because you gotta take the boat to get to the, to get to the areas. Here we're at the mayor's house, and we get a scene immediately. Mayor's daughter, Chelsea. Practicing on the piano, huh? I've got to be rude about it. We didn't know. She's got a long way to go. Yeah, she's just a kid. What do you expect? A big dummy. Because he got a little bit better at playing the piano. Go bother the maid. Wow. What's up, Mayor? Has been falling apart, falling off lately. We're suffering a depression. Dallas is entirely to blame too. He's entirely to blame for a lot of things. I think depression is the wor least of your concerns. Like, he wants to literally kill you <laughs> and everybody else. That should be what you. That should be what you should be concerned about, not the stock market and everything. That's 200 years trying to remember this one dish. 200 years. Hmm. 
I don't know if we've met her before or not. Doubt it. But maybe. Maybe she was in Venezia in the other timeline. I don't know. I don't remember her. But maybe, maybe she was. I don't really remember random NPCs in games. That's something games never do, like, justice on, is, like, NPCs. Like, you never, like, remember any of the NPCs in a lot of games. There's just so many throwaway NPCs that no one ever remembers. And I'm talking about the people who are, like, in the towns and everything. Like, just... They should... Make a game where the NPCs feel important instead of just you know just sitting in the town or walking around in the town or just standing still in the town just waiting for you to talk to them and they don't really have much of a purpose outside of that but I've never had a, I never put a game that you know did it right you know where it was like you know interesting to talk to, to the NPCs you know even in Final Fantasy, it was like kind of pointless to talk to the NPCs, you know. And I get it, they're just like they're not supposed to be important or anything because they're just random characters, you know, but Like, I'd like, like, see, like, you know, random NPCs just give you items and shit, just, like, out of the blue. Yeah, she does look like Nancy, don't she? I guess Nancy and Elwyn are good NPCs in the game. So this place is all about the company still. It's Elwyn or someone who looks like Elwyn, but it's probably not Elwyn. Steph Stefan. Had an ancestor several generations back who was named Ellen. It's very interesting, sir. Huh. Hundred and fifty years ago. Yeah, in the other timeline, yeah. He got unsealed by that Mars guy and then he then he killed Mars. Stupid idiot Mars. Imagine unsealing somebody and then the person kills you. That's gotta feel bad. <laughs> A real narcissist. Uh, probably elves, if I had to guess. Oh, we got the ingredient shop here. Okay, you can buy kelp now. <laughs> I'm hungrier than a hippo and poorer than a pauper. Okay. Food for my green card. A melon and uh, kelp should do it. Okay. Card a green card. 
Isn't that what you need to like uh visit other areas or something and I, I don't know what the green card is, I can't remember, but it's Maybe it's like, is it for leaving America or is it uh, for people coming into America they need a green card? I, I don't know. What, whatever. I don't really care. A Tales of Fantasia collectible card. Card series one, number two of four. Bird gotta collect them all. I think it's called a visa that you need to leave leave America, right? Or or to go to other countries or something. Like a passport. But whatever. I haven't I've never been out of the United States, so I wouldn't know. I haven't even been out of Florida except for like one time and that was a couple years ago when I, when I flew to Washington. To see my ex. And that was it. It's the only time I've been out of Florida. Okay, heavy boots. Oh, I don't need that paralysis charm equipped anymore. I forgot about that. I think you can get rid of that. Some of the boost attack power. Okay, here's Harrison. Not selling under any circumstances, okay. Okay. Yes, we did. Yeah, we went there. Oh, we'll soar. Okay. Fly. Alright. Okay, we gotta go to the research center. Oh, we're on Mecca Taken here. Okay. So, we're gonna take to the skies, I guess. Yep, we already know about that. We already know this area. We've been here before. Sir Stanley. Alright, good, we can pass. Flying machines.
These are man flying machines that operate on magic power, okay. What if they run out of magic power though? You just fall to your death. They're called Ray Ray Erds. Convert magical energy into kinetic energy for propulsion, okay. Borrow power from Volt, the Spirit of Lightning, okay. Further boost the Rayard's output, alright, awesome, so we can get another spirit. That's pretty awesome. Our summoner. Have we got one right in front of you, bro? Make my broom broom be all zoom zoom. Or not my forte. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he's part of the Albanistas Moria Mine Survey team, okay. Acquired the Sardonics. Those exist in a cave southwest of Miguel, okay. No, we haven't yet. We haven't even left yet. Alright. Uh there's nothing here. Okay, let's we're gonna head to Volt Cave in the next episode. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.